Hello, beautiful souls. It is day 28 of my 30 day video challenge. I can't believe that I'm on day 28 already. I've only got two days left of this 30 day challenge. It's like, wow. Today I find myself back in the UK and staying at a nice little place here in Taunton and Somerset until which is in the southwest of the UK until I finish my quarantine period of 10 days. I really do have to isolate for 10 days because they come and knock on your door. And if you're caught not isolating, you can be fined a lot of money. Coming back was a bit emotional. On the flight back to the UK, the flight attendant said to everyone and explained about how they're doing their best considering the circumstances and how challenging the past 18 months has been. And I just felt when she said that about how challenging it's been in the past 18 months for their airline, I also picked up then on how I had felt about how I feel about the past 18 months, as well as these emotions of all these hundred, hundred, like, you know, how many people fit on a flight? It's like dozens of people all around, hundreds of us, probably 200 people on that flight. I could just feel us all. And I brought a tear to my eye, just thinking, just feeling. how much has gone on in just 18 months and and it was sad it was a sad moment but I felt good again when I got off the flight and I was in Birmingham and I went into the city centre and since the new moronic variant has come into play. The new rules are in the UK that you're supposed to be wearing a mask again in, in like shops and things like that. About half the people were not wearing a mask. And that to me, it was just a real sim symbol of how tired people are at this point of all of this. And I just can tell that 2022 is going to be a turning year. Things are really going to shift in many ways. Like they have this year, just gone. There's been a lot that's been simmering under the surface collectively and even individually. Collectively in that There's so much that's going on behind the scenes that we just don't see. All I can say about that is, that is that I'm excited for 2022. And yeah, there was quite a cultural shock for me coming back as well. It was like coming from Mexico where you're on Mexico time in Mexico. That means if the event starts at three o'clock, you show up at four o'clock. <laughs> It's also this greater sense of like family in Mexico, whereas here in the UK, that feeling of family is different. It's still present. It's just, we're not quite as so much of a unified people in a sense. At least that's not how, that's how it feels to me. And I actually came to really like that about Mexico. It feels like this big family and things are chilled out and anything goes. Whereas here in the UK, things are not so chilled out. People are generally much more uptight and everything is proper, which I love. <laughs> I absolutely love. I've grown up with the properness of England and Western civilization and I love it. It's very useful but it was so refreshing 
to be in that different style of society in Mexico, a different way of living and being. And it brought a great peace to my heart and a big smile. And so I just wanted to give some appreciation and really express that. So I am grateful for having this warm, clean, comfortable and cozy apartment to come and live in for a little while, for as long as I need. I'm really grateful for this ability to share on video like this. I'm really grateful for my time in Mexico and the lessons that I've learned. I'm really grateful for the abundance that is flowing to me and through me in all ways. I'm really grateful that even though my granddad passed away two days ago, that he is in a good place. And I can feel him smiling at me as I smile back at him. I'm really grateful for this new habit setting that I've been doing. The daily yoga, the daily appreciation practice. The daily meditation. I'm really grateful for the people in my life that are here for me whenever I need them. I'm really grateful for the relationships in my life that have allowed me to grow and expand and to become a better version of myself. I'm really grateful for the work that I do and how it helps people and how it allows me to do more of what I love. I'm really grateful for the world at large and the collective lessons that we've been going through in the past two years and beyond and how it's propelling us forward into continually better versions of ourselves individually and thus improving the entire collective in the process. I want to thank the mentors, the scholars, the teachers, the wizards, the holders of wisdom, the witches, the, the lecturers, the mothers, the fathers, for all that they help me with and have helped me with. And I appreciate how far I feel I have come and will continue to go and how wonderful, how wonderful it is to see all of those around me as well doing exactly the same thing, living their lives in whatever style that happens to be, always doing their best. Thank you world. Day 28. So much love.